I started framing in 2003. What got me into the trades was I really liked shop class. Hey guys. Hi. In my high school in Red Deer, they actually had a carpentry program. So before school started in the first period, you would go and build like a garage or it was really hands-on. And I was pretty good at it. To your little horse. Good job. Where? So this one's a baby. This one's, oh, she's five months old, I think now. Once I graduated, I was actually supposed to go be a farrier, so trimming horses' feet. And I needed a job until that schooling started. And someone had suggested working for their neighbor. And I fell in love with it within weeks. So I canceled my schooling and then signed up for my apprenticeship. And then that's kind of how it started. So I was 18, I think. I was, I was just graduated when I started. At the beginning, I did a lot of decks, a lot of smaller jobs. It evolved to a lot bigger houses. Um, I still generally try and stay in the residential framing. The smaller stuff I don't care to do. A lot of times I'll actually give those jobs to my employees. It kind of puts some extra money in their pockets. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of chickens in there too. There's like 40 chickens or 60 or something. I don't know. There's a lot. So I put this up in 2016, I built this. It's mostly just to get away from the wind of winter and you know, when it's really cold out, I actually, like when it's like minus 30 or 40 for a bit, I let people come with their dogs so that their dogs have somewhere to run around and they can play fetch, but they're out of the snow. Time management for my life is pretty important, I'd say. Outside of framing, I obviously have the, the horses at the farm. I live on the same property as my parents. We, we have the place together. Luckily, I have a pretty good group around me. I run a boarding facility as well. I'm just trying to get it off your face. There's always fixing fences, getting hay out, waterers, I don't know, you name it. There's, there's always something to do out there. I also, in the winter times, I do sleigh rides and uh, I do kind of have groups come out and they have a bonfire and I get that set up for them and then I do sleigh rides for them. So I do a lot of that in the winter on the weekends and when I'm not framing. I take a lot of people out to the mountains with horseback rides too as well. Normally during the summer times we've uh, hosted uh, farm stay Curls, um, they're usually from Europe somewhere, a lot of Germans, Swiss gals. These girls like loved it so much and they love Canada, so they went home last summer and then they came back, but this time they got working holiday visas. They've actually been helping me on site. They're doing quite well and I think they enjoy it. They've been helping there and they help with the kids and um, yeah, they're just kind of friends, And but it, it really helps um, to have kind of a group around, like I said, my mom's at the farm as well, so she helps out with the kids a lot, and there's always a revolving door of Europeans or, I don't know, just people who are looking for a place to stay for a bit. I wonder if the breaker blew or something. Oh, it's frozen. So I kind of fit that in as well amongst framing. If I can have a routine and a schedule, no matter how crazy it is, I'm, I can be pretty confident in that and feel comfortable with it. But yeah, I can have a thousand things going on and I, it doesn't usually fluster me or stress me out much. I try and be on time with things. I think I've been like this with my time most of my life. Like I've always been an early riser, get lots done in the morning. Yeah, I like to get a lot out of my day. That's for sure. I don't, I don't like wasting too much of my day doing nothing. Come on. Come on. Hi. Hi, boys. Hi. I just, I love my job, so I don't know. I, 
I enjoy it. Sure, there's, you know, crappy weather, there's, there's things you gotta deal with, but in general, I just love it.